Welcome. My name is George Pearson and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos on my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques that you'll find in different software programs. Right now I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video though is different. This is one in a series of longer project demonstrations that I'm doing that show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish such as changing this background or adding in these swirls or changing hair color. All the images I use in these are public domain and you'll find a link to the pictures in the description if you want to work along and follow my demonstrations. Okay, let's go ahead and move into the project. In this project we're going to be cleaning out this background area. Of course we have this person bending over right here and a little bit of a door or something in behind there. Nothing really dramatic, pretty straightforward cleanup, but it's a good chance to show how to use the pen tool to create selections. The pen tool allows you to make real nice smooth curves like around the fingers here and so forth and underneath that beak and around the hair. So I'll be using the pen tool for that. Now this image is a public domain image and you'll find a link for this in the materials section if you want to download the image and follow along with this tutorial exactly. First thing I always do is to create a new layer. Just copy the image onto a new layer and save the background so that it's not touched. I can always go back to that background if I have to. Now for this we'll be using the pen tool. I'm just going to fill white in here and just do a quick look at the pen tool. I want to zoom in a little bit so I have something to work on. So we have a few tools here, the pen tool, freeform, add anchor point, delete anchor point, and convert anchor point. We'll be using some of those and the pen tool. I won't be using the freeform on this. Now the way the pen tool works, if you click and click another point like that, it creates straight lines. If you click and pull, it gives you these control handles and then click and pull again and you get control handles like that. So you can create either straight lines or curved lines using the pen tool. I'll come back to the beginning again there. Now when you've done that you can choose to take that path that you've made and convert that path to a selection. Click on that. You can also choose to soften that edge of the selection if you want to. Choose OK and then makes a selection. So that's basically what we'll be doing. He'll be using the pen tool to create a selection to protect the girl's image here as we clean out that background content. Okay, let's just go ahead and we'll deselect that. Let's get rid of that layer in there. We're already zoomed in, which is nice. And we'll come in here and we'll begin doing some work. So all I really need to worry about is the area up around here. I can eyeball that and not bother with this stuff down. We need to worry about the area in here, of course, and be careful around in there. And we'll do just this section first. So I'll go to the, to the pen tool. I'm just going to do a real rough bit down here around the jacket. I don't need to get in too close on this because I'm not really going to be doing anything in there. And I'll just stay kind of close in here. But as we get up here towards the the knuckle I'm going to click and drag and give myself a little bit of a curve here and then click and drag again. I'm just putting in some some points. I see there's, there's kind of this, this curve here on the finger. I'm going to click right there and drag and then go around that knuckle and click and drag again and then over into here. Click and drag and I'm just coming in and doing little bits of, of clicking and dragging to create this path. And around the finger here again, click and drag for that bit. Now it's a little hard to see here. Let's not, not worry about that because we'll be coming in tighter in just a little bit. We're going to come in and adjust this. One of the nice reasons to use the pen tool is you can actually modify your path after you have made the path. Okay, so there's, there's kind of that curve in there, I'm clicking on either side of the curve. First click and then the second click and pull. It gives me a curve in there and then a curve here. 
a little bit of a curve there coming out of the beak bit of a curve and then at this point I'm just going to come out a little bit here and let's come down and scroll down a little bit go back to the beginning and that gives me a path now that I have that path we can zoom in on that path and fix that path and make it better so I'm just going to zoom in real tight in here and go to our path tool select our path you can see right there there's kind of a thin line a little hard to see maybe in there but I can grab the path and move the path around like that or I can use my other tool the direct select tool I can actually grab one of these individual points and move just that point around and get exactly the right spot for that point I also can click on my control handles here and then move those control handles around again to get the curve to move exactly where I want the curve to be let's pull that in a little bit here so there's a nice curve right around that knuckle come down here it's a little bit off down here there's a point I'll pull that in now let's pull that in towards that initial point again probably hard to see on the screen in here but I'm using these control handles now to really get this curve to hug that edge of that shape so by using the pen tool you can see it better here by using the pen tool there you can really see that like that I can come in and grab these points there we go and modify the position to get it exactly the way I want Now, if you don't have quite the position that you want, for instance, if this isn't exactly where I want and I need maybe another point up in here, I can do that by using the Add Anchor Point tool. I'll just put another anchor point right there, right in that part. And I can then pull that up and then use that additional anchor point to come in and, again, refine that shape. So by using the pen tool, you can see how you can be very, very specific in here on the, on the shape and get it just exactly the way you want. That's the real benefit to using the pen tool for making this kind of a selection. Is that it gives you this ability to really refine that shape until it's exactly the way that you want it. Okay, that's pretty good doesn't matter around out here really we're not going to be doing anything in this area matters down there though so let's see how close we can get to that that's pretty good now I have a point right here at this point down here I'm going to pull this point in a little bit and pull that out now this is a corner as you can see and so is that I'm going to convert those to curves and put a new point in here maybe a new point right there as well so let's go to our add put a new point there and a new point there and then we have the convert tool here I can click on this point and pull and it pulls out control handles like that sitting here I can click and pull and it pulls out control handles converting that point into a curve again allowing me then to come in and using my curve tools here my control handles I can get that curve exact to follow along the shape of her fingernail so by again by using the path tool it gives me great control on my shapes get them exactly the way that I want them and get them just perfectly positioned okay it's kind of moving it in I think we're pretty close in here on that there we go alright let's roll up a little bit we're a little off right there there it goes a little 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 turn there I'm gonna pull this 
in. So this is just a matter, as you can see here, of going around and refining that edge, get the edge exactly the way that you want it. And we're almost, almost done, as you can see here. But I would go through and I, I would just, you know, finish this work out. I'm not going to take the time here to do all of all of this. I'll go ahead and and pause the video for a minute and finish finish this job going around and getting these positions exactly where I want them. So you don't need to watch this, you know, forever. But that's the the technique on using the pencil. You want to come in and just use it to refine your edge. Now, if you want to add an additional shape like in here, make your outer selection save that and then use the add section to make a new path here and actually add that into your path and get rid of that bit as well or to do it as a, as a separate pass. Okay, I'm going to pause the video at this point and then I'll finish this touch up on the edges of this curve here so you don't have to watch me do this forever. And as soon as I have the path finished and cleaned up, then I'll bring the video back up again in just a moment. Okay, I've cleaned up my path as much as I want it. Let's now zoom out a little bit. Here we go. And again, I've looked it real rough out there. That's fine. So let's just click on the path selection tool. There it is. And switch over to our pen tool. So the path is selected. I'm on the pen tool. Let's make a selection. Now at this point it's selecting everything inside of here and nothing outside. I want to reverse that selection. Let's go ahead and we're going to just invert that selection. Inverse, there we are. Now the outside is selected and interior is protected. So this area is now protected. So I'll get rid of this person and we'll do that as a secondary step. And pretty straightforward, we'll just be using the standard clone tool for this. Go up here to our clone stamp tool. Check our brush size looks pretty good. Hold the Alt key down and click, and then let's just come in and begin doing a little bit of painting in. I'll go a bit from the top and then a bit from the bottom. And kind of go back and forth a little bit on this. That's looking pretty nice. Luckily with this grass, it's pretty hard to see where the clone tool is doubling up. It's, it's an easy one to come in and hide. No one's going to spot this stuff. Always an advantage if you have a good random background like this when you're doing a clone stamp. Main thing to watch in here is the overall changes like it's lighter up in here and smaller and it's larger down here and a little bit darker in there you want to kind of match some of that stuff this you also can copy from in your protected area if you want to and then paste out there so you this is not blocking the copy it's just blocking the actual stamping And I think we're pretty close in here to finished. And just a little more in there. I'm going to soften up the brush here a bit. A little larger and a little softer. Just to help hide that edge to soften up some of these edges in there. Okay, I think we're pretty well there on that bit. That looks fine. Let's deselect. Looks good. Let's now go in and fix that little bit right there. And again, back to the pen tool. I'll click down here and I'll click right there and pull. And that pulls out my curves and then I'll click here and pull and then just a few of these right around there. I don't need to do very much. And then back to the beginning here. Pass select, there it is. 
direct selection and let's grab these control handles and adjust that a little bit so just refining the the path and that's good enough for right there that's all I need to do and get back to your pen tool click on selection make selection this time I want to have this selected that's fine clone stamp tool way too large let's bring that size way down that's good little copy from there and paste this is just a little bit in here doesn't need much looks good select and deselect there we go okay let's zoom out again you see that looks pretty good maybe a little bit of some clone stamp in here just to kind of stuff I'm not really perfectly happy with that Let's bring our size up a little bit so I can see that. Just a couple of hot spots in there I want to get rid of. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that's how you use that pen tool. Let's do the same thing up here. Fix the area up here above the hair. This would be a real fast bit. I have a little bit of, of this door or something right in there so I just want to get a little bit right around the edge of the hair there so let's grab our pen tool again I'll start right here and I'll click here and then over here and drag it's like right here and a little drag and up here just putting in just a few points it's probably good enough and I'll just click around the outside here and back to the beginning so there's the path direct select tool and let's adjust our selection here to get this pretty close on that hair it's it, it's pretty close anyway I mean this is not a difficult shape in here to get And again, it's just a matter of working working around on the shapes to try to get it to match as closely as you can. And move that down. I think that's just about there. That's pretty good. So I want to work into this shape this time. So in this case, we're going to make a selection back to the pen tool, make a selection. I might feather just a little bit this time, soften it up. There we go. Now, if you need to adjust the edge of your selection, you can do that under Select, and you can refine the edge of your selection. You can see it right there. Here's our Refine Edge tool. And I can actually come in and try to come in and have it refine that edge. And by doing this, you can catch in just a little bit of the hair. You can see right up there, a little bit of the hair happening around it. Maybe it's a little bit better mask on this. You can use this to you know, really fine tune things like that hair. And that should be fine. It doesn't take much. I'll choose OK. All right, let's now just do a bit of standard clone st stamp tool from the sky. This one's easy. It's all real, real consistent in there. There we go, and then let's deselect that. Looks fine. It's a little rough up there, as you can see. So we're going to soften that down just a touch on that. I, th I think just a little bit of a straight clone stamp with a fairly small brush. And just soften down that edge. and that should be all we need okay that's done so you clean the background up looks good hair looks good bird looks good over there grass looks fine 
If you want to come in if, if you feel like doing the little extra bit of work, a little bit of cleanup in here. Let's just use the spot healing brush and adjust that size. Yeah, it didn't work too good. Some of the spot healing brush doesn't work out well. It depends. You may get lucky or you may not get lucky. Depends upon what it happens. There we go. That worked out pretty well that time. Not too good there. Let me just gonna undo that one and step backward one more step. Okay, so there we are. Nice cleaned up image. As you can see, we got rid of that person in the background. No problems at all. Clean that area up there right here. A little bit of a an edge adjustment on that. But using the pen tool gave us the ability to really fine tune that edge and make a real nice, careful, controlled edge on our selection. That's the real power of using the pen tool here for making your selections is that ability to fine tune that selection edge before you go ahead and make your selection. So there we go. Let's bring this back up again. So there's the before and there's the after. Before and after. Usually I try answering a few questions at the end of a tutorial like this one, project tutorials. Not a whole lot really here to answer on this one is pretty straightforward stuff. The only real question would be when is it best to use the pen tool instead of your other tools? You know there's lots of tools to choose from on our selections. We have our lasso tools up here, we have our magic wand tools in here, you have your background eraser tool. There we go, background eraser tool right there. So you have lots of lots of tools you can be used to clean out a background. Question is when do you want to use or when's the pen tool appropriate. First off, I always recommend use the tool you're most comfortable with. I tend to normally use the polygonal lasso tool and that usually does everything I need. The reason why I would use the pen tool is for things like this where it's a real tricky area, especially if there are some curves in there. The polygonal lasso tool is not very good at curves. It does straight lines. So if I had curves like this and it's a, a critical area to get it just right, I'll use the pen tool because it allows me to go in and carefully readjust or refine that edge before I make the selection. So you have a lot more control. It takes a little bit longer to use a pen tool, but you end up with a selection that gives you a lot of control to go ahead and refine that selection. Also, as you're using this, you're creating paths. You're converting the path into a shape but you're actually making paths over here, making work paths. You can see we still have that one work path up there at the top that we did. So work paths are also saved with the program. If you leave it as a work path, it's saved with the program. So you can save your selection that way. Of course, you can always come back in and save your selections up here using your save selection option as well. Let's just reselect. There's that top selection in here. I could save that selection give that a name. I'll just put a, a number one down here. I can then always come back to that selection. It's a good idea to save selections if you are creating carefully designed, carefully controlled selections. It's a good idea to go ahead and save that selection. You can always convert selections to masks and back and forth if you want to so you have some flexibility in there as well depending upon how you like to work. But that's again that's why and when I'll use the pen tool is if I want to work with curved surfaces, curved areas, and I want to be able to really carefully refine that selection and make sure that the selection is perfect, the pen tool is the one to use. So there you go. That's how to do a careful selection using the pen tool. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.